Uh, let's take a look, though, at what's going on overnight tonight with these showers that are moving through the area. Right now, you can see this rain starting to move up from the south. It's going to lift up to the north as we head through the next couple of hours. Uh, a lot of feedback showing up on the radar here through most of the northern parts of the upstate and the lower parts of the mountains there. But certainly it's possible that you're seeing a few raindrops there within those heavier clouds that have now infiltrated the area. As we look towards 1 a.m., you can see some of those heavier rain showers really right along that I-85 corridor and areas north headed into North Carolina there. So by 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, we've got some of that heavy rain into Spartanburg, down into Greenville. Uh, Lawrence even getting some of that heavier rain as you wake up on your Sunday morning. Notice those widespread showers across the area, and then it starts to taper off here. By 9 o'clock, starting to see some clearing back across the western mountains, but still seeing quite a bit of rain into the upstate and into the foothills of North Carolina. By the time we get to noon, though, this is clearing out. So the clearing line will work its way from the west down to the east as we head throughout the day tomorrow. Now, it is possible we could see a few isolated showers try to redevelop across the mountains late tomorrow afternoon and into the evening, showing up on future casts there. That's really going to be more so into the mountains that you have that possibility into the later part of the day. I expect the upstate to stay on the drier side of things into the later part of your Sunday. Now, after 8 a.m., we start to see this little bubble of instability as these showers are starting to exit the area. So there is the small chance that we could see something become strong to possibly severe. That potential is going to be highest into Greenwood, lower parts of Lawrence or eastern parts of Lawrence County, most of Union County and far south uh, east corner there of Cherokee County as well as into Newberry County where we could see some isolated damaging straight line wind gusts. The higher potential though for the uh, severe weather is going to be further off to our east and down to our south. So back across the Midlands, the Piedmont of North Carolina and out towards the coast of the Carolinas as well. Not necessarily over our area. And again, this is a low end risk, but something we should be paying attention to as we head throughout tomorrow morning. Again, after 8 a.m., that's when we start to see that some of that instability try to build in. The other concern that we have for tomorrow is that we had a lot of rain on Thursday, and now we are adding to that, especially in areas that haven't completely seen those water levels in the creeks and rivers return back to normal. And so parts of the upstate here, especially along and just to the north and south of that I-85 corridor where we could see one to two inches of rain. Two inches around Hartwell is the prediction right now. That's where we could see some issues with some flooding as well, especially around those creeks and those rivers that are already running high. The areas that are more in that half inch range, not necessarily as big of a concern that you're not going to see some issues with flooding overnight tonight and into tomorrow, but certainly something to really pay attention to, especially if you're out driving and it's still dark outside. Make sure that you have your headlights on and that you're able to see what's going on in the roadway in front of you. Temperatures tonight dropping down into the 50s. Not too bad for those overnight lows. A little cooler for tomorrow afternoon with highs in the low 70s across the upstate, mid 60s into the mountains. And behind this, we are going to be on the cooler side. Even with those clearing skies tomorrow afternoon, uh, things still a little on the cooler side. Monday, we're looking at highs in the 60s and plenty of sunshine. But check out those 60s continuing in the upstate through Wednesday. That's below normal. Not a single day of the next seven days is going to be where we should be for this time of year. Small rain chance comes into play as we head into the later part of the week. 60s into the mountains as well, really all week long, despite all of that sunshine that you see in that forecast.